All right, so the decking ended up not showing up until almost 12.30. So we ended up uh, getting a lot of work done on the skirting, as you saw. So give you the close-ups on it. We started off on this, this long side. This opening right here is gonna be a door into the underneath the deck space, so I haven't gotten to that yet. And then of course we got this side over here. This side is completed all the way down into the ground. Uh, this side, we had we were not able to purchase enough of these boards yesterday. The Lowe's that we went to was out of stock of a lot of the links that we needed, so we weren't able to finish it. We did end up going back to a different store today and getting actually there, right there. That's all the rest of the ones that we needed. So we have all the boards on site, we just didn't have time to put them all up today. Uh, we also got a lot of the decking moved up. I won't go super into detail on the actual layout and everything because you'll kind of see that come together on the uh, GoPro time lapse next week. Uh, it's a Friday right now, so we are done for the day and about to head home. Got everything all cleaned up, got the canopy down and everything up out of the yard because now that we have a waterproof deck, we got nice dry storage underneath here for the uh, for the duration of the project. The basics are these are. These, all these boards right here, these are all of the, the main field boards for the, the bulk of this deck area here. We just got them all staged up there to make it uh, easier to consolidate the decking. And we have all the rest of the components down here on the driveway by the garage. All the longer boards and some of the PVC post skirts and sleeves and all that kind of stuff. We'll be uh, getting started on decking on Monday. So we'll be rocking and rolling at that point and keep you guys updated and see you Monday. the deck and then push off the ladder harder and then you'll just throw yourself off the deck at that point. Should be that bad. Ow! Ow! What'd you do? That block just stuck to it for some reason from the nails. Dropped on your so toe? It fell on my toe. Nice. Alright. Here we go. I barely got like anything right now. Yeah, it's not, I mean it ain't treated. It's not that bad. Oh. It's on LBL. Yeah. That is probably Clear. Balance. Yep. I'm ready. All right. You in? I'm in. All the way. I'm up. 
Well, I made the gap a little bigger than necessary. Yes, it's still me. It is uh, actually Tuesday now. I filmed a little bit with the GoPro yesterday, and then I don't think I did any drone shots or got the vlog camera out yesterday, so just just GoPro stuff and some more of that today, obviously, as you've seen. I figured it was time to, uh, on our lunch break, go ahead and check in and let you guys see progress. So still nothing's changed in the area of the stairs and the small landing, but we have the entire field of the deck in place. Matt, my helper, has been the one responsible for the majority of that. He's been working on working all the on all this while Garrett and myself have been doing all the posts like you saw and getting the getting the beams assembled and this one actually up in place like you just saw on that time lapse footage. So we are uh, we are moving along. We're uh, we're taking a lunch break right now, and then we're gonna put up the other beam on the the driveway side here. And then my brother is coming over shortly to help us. We have a, a double LVL that we have to get in place for the ridge beam, which will be up even higher above that, and then also coming in somewhere up there on the side of the house. So. We'll uh, keep rolling GoPro time-lapse footage and keep knocking stuff out. Oh yeah, I raced that ladder. I got you. I got you. <laughs> there you go. Going. Oh, yeah. All right, that's good. All right, it is Wednesday now. We've got the two porch beams up. Got that one up, put that one up first. And then we put that one up yesterday. Oh, we put both of them up yesterday. And then we got our, uh, we have our center post up to hold the ridge beam, which is down there on the ground. 24 foot long LVL and uh, we measured out on the wall exactly where it's going to go and uh, cut the wall open to put our beam in, pocket it in just like we did down here and we ran into a bit of a problem. And that problem has since been fixed but this is a vent pipe and drain line for a bathroom that is, it's won't bore you with the details. Basically there's a sink over here and a sink over here and this pipe was coming straight down in the wall right about where my finger is right where the peak of our roof is and where we needed to have our beam in the wall and supported. So my dad came over here this morning and rerouted pipe and I'm about to do some creative blocking and beam support and stuff like that so that we can put this beam up in the wall right there basically. Let's uh, let's just Well, actually, we need to get it up on the, okay. 
Maybe you down there just, and I'll yeah. put it up on the scaffolding. Probably better because we're sliding off the post. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I like this a lot better. Yeah. And now you boogie on up. I boogie on up. Let me see you wobble. Wobble, baby, wobble, wobble baby, wobble, baby, wobble. <laughs> I don't even know what comes after that, but clearly both of you guys. I don't know if that's Get in there. Yeah, yeah. Get in there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Maybe kind of slide it up this yeah. way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Forgot about that. Yeah. Put your on it. It wasn't that. It wasn't that. Get right. my headphones. You want to lift it up where it's sitting at on the actual roof so we can stand it vertically. And then. Progress update, end of the day, Wednesday. We have most of a roof. And so from down here, hopefully you can see the detail on what is what I had to do up there. Basically those two, two starting all the way at the bottom, those two two by fours are going down to the base plate of the wall that is over top of the beam, carrying the load over this bump out. And then we use a couple, I used a couple scraps from the cutoff of the LVL beam to create a little mini header. And then we have a post three two by fours going up to carry the weight of the actual beam. And then out here on the end, we're going to be, this is temporary, uh, of course. And we have something different going on right here, but I'll let's save that as a surprise for later. And so as you can see, the roof is not quite yet done. Uh, but that detail that we're saving for later is a, uh, well, you'll see tomorrow, but basically there, it's not just rafters going all the way out to the end. There is a, there's a different, different, uh, supporting member that is holding up the end of this roof. So that's why we left off the last couple rafters, uh, out at the end of the deck, but we are, we are ready to start putting down some sheeting tomorrow and we will be finishing up the rest of the structure of the roof tomorrow as well. And our goal is to get it dried in. We're gonna go ahead and put tar paper down uh, once we do the roof sheathing because there's gonna be rain on Friday and we wanna still be able to work out here on the main deck surface while it is raining on Friday. And also that way we don't have to worry about where we, uh, where we cut out in the roof for to move the plumbing um, that existing roof that's over there bump out that way we don't have to worry about that and we also you saw obviously we covered the deck with uh with ram board to protect it because we're going to be 
this is we're, we're not even half at the end of this week we'll be halfway through this project and we still got a lot lot to go a lot a lot of time to go a lot of stuff happening on this deck surf ordinarily we wouldn't cover a deck like this to just put railings on it and be done but we got a lot more stuff going on in here so we covered it all up nice and we'll finish all of the decking later on at some point and we'll uh we'll just keep moving so see you guys back tomorrow